okay, so their oracle is very clearly an occult. Optimist, I would yeah. say it was to improve living conditions in our nation. Huh? I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, because if you place your faith in ASIC, it's, it's, I mean, sure. <laughs> and if you're a pessimist? What? <laughs> She's just turning shit over. I cannot fathom what is it's just not her. It's not Chica. That's all that it is. Yeah. It's, it's they slipped in, replaced the person, and now that person is turning the country over to ASIC. But it clearly must have happened before what Underling got phrase? here. No, I well, okay, maybe. maybe. Oh no, okay. If that thinking what I'm thinking. Yeah. It's just it was like yesterday. That's yeah. Thanks. <laughs> that Underling got on the boat. Well, me, past few days might post. mean yesterday. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe there's a third person they we're going to be introduced to. <laughs> maybe. Super sketchy new. Also, maybe it took us more than a day to find all of the things that we needed. Yeah, that's a, that's an easy assumption. Yeah. Because they, they did put all of the boats out of commission person. as well. Somehow. 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 It was like an extra team of underlings with extra warichus just going around and typing them. <laughs> I just want there to be an army of warichus that do things like mess up boats for no reason. <laughs> Yeah, like Pikmin. They just sort of come in in a swarm and dismantle things. It's like a hundred printy style rats just running around. <laughs> Honestly, that might be true. I'm gonna act like a sporty kid. I'll jog every morning. I'll do push-ups and sit-ups. That sounds like it sucks. Uh, so why can't I be the voice actor for a part like that? Be method acting for voice? Uh, some people do it actually. That it's it's a good way to get yourself into the zone for certain characters and to uh, make sure that you can feel the the emotion and the actual push for the voice. Oh, so in order to do these, I should start walking around in a bathing suit with a sword. <laughs> Probably not. Okay. I don't think there's any characters Chico, like that. <laughs> not right now. Well, I mean, we haven't, bought, we haven't made the bathing suits yet. So. No, no, in CPU form, they're all wearing skin tight uh, yeah, things. Well, I guess that's true. Yeah. yeah. Are they just going to find the even... empty skin of Chica, like, draped over a chair somewhere? I find it unsatisfying that we didn't actually fight anything. No. Yeah, we were just allowed to, you know... Watch Cave walk, do it? Walk in and watch Cave do it, yeah. Didn't even really watch that. <laughs> no, not really. I know, right? Asking people about Miss Chica willy-nilly makes us look super hmm. fishy. Do we know anyone who could help us out? Probably. Us, huh? Well, you could find that Cave. Convenient, but... <laughs> oh, hey! Why? Uni. Hi, Uni. Hello. Just, just Hello. for no reason, huh? She's just, <laughs> She's here? just here. Diplomatic mission, don't question and it. And she wasn't even looking for us, so how did we find her <laughs> so This is the CPU candidate of, of Leanbox. <laughs> it's Uni. <laughs> Uni in a green hat. <laughs> Aww. Whatever I want. What are you doing here? <laughs> I have the same question. Do you have These any two box? are gonna be the best of friends. Hopefully. No it might take <laughs> another Come chapter. On. Tell me, please. Aww. Ready, please. <laughs> Fine, whatever. Anything to make you stop looking you at me like that. Wiggles I'm here for probably a lot same. more than <laughs> Nepgear does. You mean her whole torso shaking up and down? Yeah. Yeah, and her it. pigtails are vibrating. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> well, but not vibrating. They're, they're pulsating a little. I get a lot of shares here with little effort. Oh, so she's just here to steal shares. She's, that been working out she's ambitious. I like her. She's like, haha, without a main company, I'm just gonna steal their games. Yeah, I mean, Sony is the one that's constantly trying to get exclusivity of shit and failing, right? Um, they both do it. And honestly, most companies do it, but Nintendo does it the least, but they do do it sometimes. They also make their own games. Yeah, the, the issue with exclusivity when it comes to Nintendo is that they just prefer making their own shit if that's the case. 
But yeah, like it's it's Sony doesn't like to do like cross console connectivity uh, yeah. for online. Yeah, well, they and don't stuff. like cross plays. Is their big thing? Well, yeah, they they don't like a lot of things. And this it's that wouldn't have been that wouldn't snipe. have been like a big thing at this point though. This oh. this wouldn't have been during a time period when that even made sense. Yeah, but you need walking in to try and snipe users from another <laughs> yeah, company. That's, that's a little right. funny though. Yeah. <laughs> shares here so you all better stay out of my way <laughs> understood wait uni Aww. actually ironically from, from what i understand about the relationship that that xbox and playstation have with each other i think it would be more likely that xbox would go in and steal shares from from playstation Except they don't but they don't, they don't have do an it. option to do that Even so yeah they kind of have to invert it a little bit she just went from sketchy to full-blown modern art hmm Oh, okay. That that was a weird that, way to do it. Yeah, I yeah. kind of get what she means. <laughs> it took a second to, like, yeah. <laughs> to work out in my brain. I was like, I wonder what? how that went in Japanese. <laughs> Completely okay, different. I'm that? sure it was a different line. I'm going to run up and, and beat that dragon up. Oh, has that been bugging you this whole yeah, time? Yeah, it's, it's been bugging me this whole fucking time. So I'm going to go fine. kill that dragon. That's fine. <laughs> you want to build up your exe drive first? Nah, I'm just going to go kill a dragon. Cool. I want to see if it drops the um, old dragon orbs, because I actually need those for a plan. Oh, okay. And we haven't been able to do the plan this entire time because of that. Keeping track of plans. I sure wasn't. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Hmm. I like that all the dragons in this game drop some variation on dragon balls. So it's old dragon orb, old dragon sphere. <laughs> Yeah, and it's kind of implied that it's it's supposed to be a dirty joke, but no, it can just be Dragon yeah, Balls. It, it's okay. No, it's, it's just Dragon Balls. I don't think it's anything no, else. No, I mean, no, it's old dragon it dot 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 funny orb. Joke out of it, yeah. So it's kind of like, yeah, are we enough. just taking the dragon's balls or are we taking Dragon Balls? But that's always <laughs> an inherent joke, thing. just sort of built into it. Uh, let's see. When I was a kid and the PlayStation was a big thing. There was a game called Lunar on it, and there is an implication from a character in that uh, that the first boss that you beat up, which is a dragon, gives you a dragon's crystal, and the dragon straight up tells you as he hands it to you, he's like, you you really want this? You do realize that it's my shit, and then he kind of trails off and goes, no, you know what, forget it. Like, he literally is just handing you dragon shit, and he's like, meh. You just shouldn't have to beat him up for that. <laughs> oh, you don't really have to beat him up for it. I think you beat him up because he's just, like, really cranky when he wakes up or something. Oh, okay. Oh, so he's relatively easy. I mean, he's his first fucking boss in the game. I remember us finding a copy of Lunar uh, in It was, a, like, $80. Yeah, in an import store that also sells used non-imported games. Yeah. Back in Hawaii ten years ago, and it was you, you were tempted. You almost oh, yeah. got. Oh no, no, no! I was super tempted. I do like that game. I remember that game super fondly. And the big uh, issue that I have with it is well, one of the big issues I have with it uh, is that you can't play the um, the remade versions of the game because the remade versions of the game are significantly worse. They took a lot out of those games, which, um... Zero damage. Yeah, I think I he might be immune to... He's an elemental dragon. He might be immune to fire. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, which isn't to say that, like, oh, well, every remade version of the game takes something out, because the PS1 version is a remade Sega Saturn game, if I remember correctly. Um, it's, it's actually really cool, just the whole like build to, to what Lunar is and, and how it works and all this other stuff. Um, but the uh, the games that came out after the PS1 version, all of the remakes of the PS1 version were like really, really uh, weirdly not good. Like they, they, they took a lot of things out of those games because there was a lot of stuff that at the time that they were remaking them finally, which was on the PSP and, and during that era, um, a lot of the stuff in that game was viewed as no longer being okay to be in a game that was uh, rated, I think, T? So the, the rating standards shifted up, but they just didn't want to make an M-rated game anymore? Um, it was more like they, they didn't want to make the, the game as it originally was because they didn't want backlash. And I'm going to guess that they, they decided that they wanted to localize it and fix some things. And that was probably just part of what they wanted to fix. I assume when you said that something was lost in the, the ports that you meant that they fucked up the programming. Uh, they may have done that too, I don't know. From what I heard though, there was a lot that was actually removed, removed from the, the game. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. 
Yeah, like, I, I hate it when they do that. When they try to do, like, a remake of a game or a port of a game, and they go in and they just strip things out, and they go, well, we don't want this because it takes up too much memory, or we don't want this because it's it doesn't work with this kind of an audience anymore, or stuff like that. It's like, oh. Although, on the so other lame. hand, I don't want us to sound like the kind of people who are like, oh, well, all censorship well, yeah, is no, just I'm not the gonna worst. It's like, sometimes... Shit was a bad idea. Yeah, sometimes and they didn't it, do it. I, I understand that sometimes people feel like it's necessary, and that's fine. I'm not gonna like, you know, judge nobody for that. But it, it is one of those things where it's like, why is? Yeah, I don't. It's such a weird way I to do this. I don't understand what's okay. happening. Um, but it, it's one of those things where it's like, if I want to play a PS1 game, I probably just want to play that game. <laughs> Yeah, just, like just if let, you're maybe let me just play that game. Like if you're porting a classic thing, you should probably not retranslate it at all because that's not what people want if they're buying a port. At probably least not. at that point, just make a remake instead yeah. of porting. Like, like just rebuild it from the ground up. Then you have justification to tweak things if you need to. But if you port it and then like take out some <clears throat> of the original content, like why port it? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Do you regret not buying that $80 PlayStation 1 game 10 years ago? Uh, yeah. Honestly. Oh, jeez. What happened? Uh, nothing. I got a big cramp in my foot. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. You were looking over to the side, I was like, shit, is something over there? Did something break? No, no. no. I just, I got a big cramp in my foot and it hurts like crazy. Ah. You want me to take the controller and you stand up and <laughs> stomp your foot out? No, just give me a second and then we'll see if that's a necessary sort of... It might be necessary. But for now, we'll we'll leave it alone and see. This is a pro gamer trick, playing with a cramped leg. Oh, please don't talk about it. I just want to ignore that it's happening. Okay. It hurts so much. It'll be okay. Just I... kill this dragon's leg okay. and cramp his leg up. I'll try. I'll try my best. There's actually... I'll cramp up his life. There's actually probably a ton of um, PS1 games that we would love to have. Oh yeah, but rare games are, are always unbelievably expensive. Yeah, like I'm not problem. dropping $300 to eBay for a PS1 game. Right. No matter how good it is. Unless it's really extra good. Or if it's something the channel demands. <laughs> yeah. If we get like, well, we've had conversations about that in the past. Where we're like, should we get like like super rare games just for the channel alone? Yeah, no. If if we get like twenty comments on this, it's just all caps lock people yelling at us. Go buy Lunar. Then I guess we will. Yeah, we might. I, I don't know. Um, main issue with doing things like that though is always that like, I mean, we we play games um, physically. Like, mm -hmm. exclusively. I, I don't know how, if we've... I, I think we've said this before, but, like, if you see us play a game, we are actually playing that like, game. Like, we don't, we don't do we emulators. We don't do emulators. We don't do ROMs. We are playing actual games every single time you see us playing games. Yeah, I mean, we bought this through Steam. This is not the original, like, PSP version of, of Neptune. But yeah. Like, like th these... We always But it's just a physical game. I mean, it's an actual things. game. Yeah. We just legitimately just the own the things we get. We, we do put the money down. Yeah. Which is why we're not LPing Lunar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we if we really wanted to, I could probably go out and find an emulator for Lunar, but that's not my style. I ain't gonna yeah. do it. Plus, maybe I just want to own things. Yeah, I that like too. I mean, there, it is very... This is why I prefer actual books over, like, digital books. Yeah, I kind of got used to digital books because I was given from a very good friend, um an e-reader at one point because he was trying to convince me to read more books he wanted me to read a bunch of the books that he had so he just had them loaded onto his e-reader and then he bought a new one for himself sent me the old one and was like you gotta read this and i did um he made me read wheel of time which was probably not the best move but like it did get me into reading more so that is good but there's something about just holding a book in your hands that just feels better so anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in general, I think I, I just enjoy owning things. Just having things. It's It could be a problem where I'm just like that, but like, no, no, just... As opposed to like having weird digital copies of things. I like to just have stuff. Yeah. An alert. I just charged it. Mo Bumbler? Oh. oh, is this like a guy who texts while crossing the street? <laughs> it's a guy who plays Pokemon Go and winds up in the hospital. Yeah. 
<laughs> this game would have predated that, but you, you know what I yeah, mean. No, Somebody like... who doesn't look both ways when they're they're on their phone, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the joke, I guess. Just need one more Ooh, it's neat looking at night. Ooh, it's very green. I like it, actually. Even the sky is green. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, I mean, you could make the argument that it's like the light reflecting from the city up into the sky, because that kind of happens sometimes. Yeah, but, but it's, it's like, like an overall good effect. It, yeah, I really like it, actually. This background is beautiful. Yeah. Well, we can't it's very cyberpunk. Miss Chica is in mm -hmm. the wrong, can we? But... Chica isn't even around to see how bad things hmm. are. Hi, well, she's everyone. in the Basilicon, right? <laughs> Five PB. Huh? Somebody giving a concert. <laughs> she's playing the music from the overworld. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Watch, okay? <laughs> this better come with an animated thing. But there's no time no, it's for... not. <laughs> well, not like we have any more leads at the moment. I guess we can watch this concert for free in the street. Is this going to turn out to be ASIC propaganda? <laughs> Maybe. 5B, uh, 5PB is a company that I have mentioned on here before. It's a company that produces music. And when we see the character, we'll see if you can guess what that is related to. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all for coming today. Um... <laughs> is this Idol Master? Nope. <laughs> this next song is my personal um, favorite, so I hope you enjoy it. Just tell me. Yeah, that's literally just mages. Oh that God, that it is, is just yeah. She's even got the little mole under her eye. The only difference is that her her hair is is down, and she doesn't have her hat on or she her glasses. Have bangs the same way. Yeah, it's she, not like the so her bangs. hair is just different. But this is literally just mages. She also sounds slightly different. Yeah, what the f <laughs> So 5PB is one of the companies that I believe was merged into the company mages. Um, I think they are huh. still considered a distinct part of that company. So to an extent, 5PB and mages could either be seen as the same person or two separate companies that are very closely tied. So, Mages is from the dimension with Dr. Pepper, and 5PB is from the, the dimension with is the, Mr. Pip. That's my understanding of it, anyway. I think 5PB actually makes anime music. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. I think that's what their actual, like, company is all about. Versus Mages, which I think does a lot of other things. So like Mages with her hat off, and it's like, <laughs> I like the hat. The hat stays on. It's like, Mages took her hat off and became an idol immediately. <laughs> I will note that you... She, she you, stopped being a chuny. You liked the option where you take her hat off? Yeah, but only because she she looked really nice with her hat off. This version of her, I don't actually like as much. Yeah, no, I liked the hat on. This is the same hat the, on. The only reason I knew this character was eventually coming was because, like I said, I had to look up certain characters a little bit ago, and this character just shows up on Mage's Wikipedia, uh, her, uh, her wiki entry, not Wikipedia. The, like the Neptune wiki stuff. Okay, I was gonna say the Neptunia <laughs> characters don't need to be on Wikipedia. No, no, no. I mean they are, but yeah, they're not. I mean maybe it's like it's not just where I was <laughs> a single line on the article for <laughs> Neptunia. Yeah. So she's just been just walking she's around doing street level. like heavy lifting and shit. She was like, oh, those idiots making me do all the heavy lifting. She's just been walking around piping people's mailboxes and stuff. So she wasn't the one who took over for the, uh... Yeah, no, it's clearly whatever. someone in ASIC, though. Weird. Oh, no, Red's got an idol problem. <laughs> yeah, she already did. She's gonna stop producing content so that she can just watch the, the Love Live girls. <laughs> I just saw something. Is she gonna like run up on stage up, and try to grab her or something? <laughs> just I don't know. To relax. I can't unsee it, so I guess I have to address it. Hmm. Is it underling sneaking up onto the stage? Oh, where are you going? The concert is over it now. probably is underling Let's doing something. <laughs> Time for the next song. She's got like a tattoo of a note on her stomach now. Yeah. Who in a concert says time for the next song? <laughs> no one. Yeah. Although it is an idol thing, so she's not, she's potentially not singing. She's just dancing to music. 
So she I, could be I, the MC introducing other acts. Yeah, well, I gotta. I kind of have to assume that when it comes to idol things, a lot of it is kind of like off the table. It could be a lot of things, and you could hear people introducing the next song. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if that's mm -hmm. really a fucking thing. And also, I mean, they do tell you what song is coming next. Uh, sometimes. I don't, I don't go to concerts. It's, but it's not like it's every single time. It's just we're switching from one song to the other, to the other, to the other. There's little bits and pieces of downtime where you talk to the fans. Yeah, like, I I mean, even on the radio, they don't always tell you the names of the things yeah. they're playing. So I figure, like, it's not like you just you just go in and so just, just start saying, day. well, this is this song. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so... They're gonna serious? fight backstage. What are you idiots doing here? Oh, she wasn't actually talking about them. Oh, How she just wanted to. She's gonna beat up Idol. <laughs> no escape for yeah. you today. Yeah, she was just coming in here to, like <laughs> fuck music. Not my day, is it? Fuck music. <laughs> Which is fine. I kind of like that attitude. <laughs> Like I don't hate music. I just like the idea. She's like, people are having fun in the street. I'm gonna stop it. I'm just gonna go in here and ruin your shit, and it's gonna be funny. It's just is she just moshing in an in an idol crowd? Maybe. <laughs> like she's starting a fucking violence pit in this like effectively I, I don't know like a boy band with ladies concert. A girl band? I guess it would be a girl band. I don't think that's a term though. Well, they're just called like girl groups usually, I, or just idol I guess that's groups. Compa. <laughs> oh, this is pretty disgusting, Compa. Is, is Compa being traumatized by the mosh pit? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh, gross. Is Cave's just here at the concert. Oh, it's you. Just hanging out. Yeah. To disrupt this concert. That's no. The one causing trouble. We're just trying to catch her. We're we are self appointed roadies <laughs> kicking out someone with no ticket. We also don't have tickets, but don't yeah. ask. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a street concert. Nobody yeah. has a ticket. Is that how it works? Uh, well, sometimes, yeah. Okay, I don't go to concerts. <laughs> Red, why do you talk like this? She's into them feet. So she's just like phasing through people effectively. What? She's no, no. She's got no clip. <laughs> she's used to dodging stuff. What, I like the idea. Who people throw things at a lot. <laughs> like Cave, Cave can just run through a crowd and then sidestep every single person to the point where she's not touching anyone. She's just gone That's intangible. <laughs> yeah. This is some idle bullshit. <laughs> Fucking, oh, they turned mages into Miku. <laughs> I don't like it as much. I don't like it either. Oh, Not as much anyway. Yeah. I would love a concert that's just a uh, wizard edgelord talking about soda. Yeah. Wow. Like, like just well, legit. Soda and anime. Like she's just sitting around talking about Steins Gate and Dr. Pepper. Like, she sings an entire please? song backwards somehow. <laughs> yeah. I take it you are acquainted with her? I'm sure if I looked, there would actually be, like, a J-pop idol group where everyone's a giant edgelord. I would love that. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, you've got, um... Oh, God, what is that band? A a fuck. I always mess up their name because it's not an American band. It's, like, a a K AKB... Like forty six or something. It's it's like there's there's an idol band, like an actual girl band in Japan that has something like almost fifty members, and and they just kind of vary who comes up on stage usually. I have a hard enough time keeping track of what music is what in English, so I really don't. Yeah, it is. If it's not like the theme song to an anime that I've heard a million times, I'm not going to be able to recognize a song in Japanese from one playing to the next. <laughs> Yeah, so her name is just, you know, canonically underling. So this underling character can be <laughs> It is. <laughs> Again. There I'm is no Vyres, just mid box. Yeah. Lean box special missions so, team. Hmm. So okay. they've got like their their little military. Who else is Red Ring of Death? Fuck. <laughs> Is she just literally... A, uh, is that what her thing on her hat is? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> She's a member of the Red Ring of Death. They're, they're people who go out and murder people who, you know, slip in and try to fuck with Xbox, I guess. She overheats <laughs> easily. Oh, doesn't that sound really cool? It sounds like some kind of special task force. I want to see the uh, other Red Rings of Death. Do they all have that hat? Maybe. Maybe that's what the big... No, I guess the C on her shirt stands for cave. Probably. I guess that makes more sense. As short-handed as we are, all we can do is slow the corruption and decay of So they, they're basically just a militia trying to keep this place together I with no one to leave them. Because I yeah, I guess. A formal request. Hmm. Could you lend us your aid? I, I really hope that we're going to get, like, ushered into, like, a secret base of cool gorilla anime <laughs> girls with like bandanas yeah, and shit pardon my phrasing the figurehead of a cpu hmm. our team is at its limit for what we can accomplish so they, they need someone here to soak up the shares time. so that at least our floor doesn't have them sega desperately needs to help the red ring of death control place or, uh, sorry not playstation control xbox xbox <laughs> PlayStation's here, it's just, you know. She's just doing her thing. <laughs> Which, even if she's not working with us, is still us. taking shares from Arfoir. I don't know why the RROD would be helping Leanbox. It, it seems like something that should be taking it down from the inside. <laughs> maybe they are. They, <laughs> maybe saying. they did. Request. Let's see what they need it's... us to do, okay? But the people of Leanbox really need our help. We can't leave them alone. Nepgear's... Trying so hard to be good at things. I guess we need to gather shares too. So the oh, becoming geez. more and more like your father, Fox. <laughs> My thanks. I will accompany uh, you for the time being. Once all right, you get and the your party. sister are the same again. person. They kind of are. A little bit. Got it. Get get in the party. Get in here. Uh, it doesn't look like she's gonna. Get in! Get in! So oh wait, no, we got more stuff. Okay. You okay. Like that idol's concert? Are you a fan or something? It is part of my mission. <sighs> Don't hit on your clone, Red. <laughs> Don't hit on your future daughter. Celebrity bodyguard dude. I forgot we were doing that. <laughs> yeah. job at all, it's it's Cable and and Scott Summer. <laughs> Maybe. It's it's Cyclops and the X Man. <laughs> Well, yeah, the idols, that, that's a real name of an X Men yes. character, <laughs> just X Man. Yeah, I once uh, told. Apparently, Five PB is also a part of the Red Ring of Death, or something. Oh, okay. Or she's 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 the goat Thus, from Zootopia. She's yeah. <laughs> she's the one who sings and says she's on our side, but is not goat? part of the plot. Yeah, yeah, the sexy one. That's a it's a gazelle. Right, that one. It's, it's a different thing than a goat. I know what those are. Gazelles look disgusting when they stand up, by the way. Have you ever seen a gazelle like stand straight up? Not personally. They have the tiniest little heads. Like, the rest of their body is huge compared to this itty-bitty little, like, gross right, head Right, right. She has a tiny head and, like, a big butt, and she no, no, shakes no, it. No, 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 just they, and they everyone... have horrible, disgusting, like, ungulate bodies. And everyone went nuts for the character when that movie came out. I'm just saying, out. gazelles are actually really ugly animals. And she didn't affect the plot at all, but they made a big deal about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, that's what, what's her face. What were you saying about X-Man? Uh, there was a time That's when I told you, I know way more about X-Men than you'd think. Possible. Just ask me an X-Man, and I don't know who it is. And you're like, okay, who is X-Man? And I'm like, you mean, like, the the Age of Apocalypse version of Cable? And you had to look it up, and it was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at you, and was like, yeah, To my credit, I was not a big fan of X-Men. <laughs> I'm not even I, like I'm an expert. I'm still not that big a fan of X-Men, to be honest. I'm like a mid-level X-Men understander. 2D is justice, no matter the age. Yeah. What? Ugh! Cat! <laughs> Go to jail! <laughs> he ran off before we could arrest him. <laughs> Fucking cat. Go to... We are not allowed to like that cat anymore. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know if what he meant was what we think he meant. Oh, Stella came back. Stella is alive! Oh fuck, Rom and Ram are stealing shares too. <laughs> Good luck. Did you sneak out of the house? Crap, it's Neff gear. Aw, she said crap too. Am I really that annoying? Jeez. Next time we see Cat, let's get him neutered. Thank you, Rom. What are you two 
Doing in Leanbox. <laughs>